good, uh, good morning, welcome. And uh, it took rather limited convincing power from the PR team to get me here. Okay. First of all, it's a nice environment, it's a nice audience, and it's two subjects which are, when you are a little bit longer in the company, are very close to my heart and to, to our heart. And that is, we'll talk today about the cross country. Tomorrow you will see the fourth generation. Today we'll talk about the third generation cross country. And we'll talk about four cylinder engines. And to me both, when the cross country was invented in 1996, I was very young. Uh, I just came from university and, uh, that's a joke. But, <laughs> uh, I was still junior in the company and I, I saw what, 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 what stubbornness and a combination of being a stubborn engineer and a lot of drive can bring because there were very few people who started to think about cross country and what would it be to bring cross country in the higher end of the market. We all know that Subaru launched their Outback before and when we started, or when those people started to talk about cross-country, they got a lot of, they received a lot of skepticism. Um, for those a little bit known with the car industry, we had the Sincra Matra Run Show, which was not a great success, and immediately people started to relate cross-country with, with that car. But it was, uh, it was actually a big surprise to many that when we launched the cross country, the first cross country on the 850 model, that it was highly appreciated and it appeared to be extremely close to our brand, extremely close to the Swedish ruggedness. And we, we entered the market which was very new and you just have to look around now. It's, it's, the market has been entered in the meantime by, by many of our premium competitors. That stubbornness, we copy-pasted in, uh, in the discussion when we were talking about the four-cylinder strategy. We'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. But as you probably remember or know from earlier presentations, we took a very bold dis discussion decision in 2008 to go for four-cylinder turbos only. And by that, replace our six-cylinders and also replaced our so much loved five-cylinder. And what you see here today, the car you drive today, the, the, the XC60 uh, all-wheel drive, is literally, it's replacing, this four-cylinder is replacing the last five-cylinder which we launched in 1992 when the 850 was introduced. So actually, this is a quite remarkable moment because now all our cars are equipped with, with four-cylinder. And you have seen those engines in the, uh, in, in, in the new cars, in the XC90, in the S90, and we decided to also put it into the XC60, and by that in the S60 and the V60, because the 60 cluster is such an important uh, car line for Volvo as such, and for Volvo cars in, in, in the United States. I mean, the XC60 was, till we launched the XC90, the best-selling car globally in our portfolio was also the best-selling car in the United States and is still a very hot product. So we really put a lot of effort in to get that engine in, into the XC60. And uh, later today you, you can drive it and you can experience that I think our engineering team did a fantastic job, but actually I should, I should leave that, uh, that, that judgment up, up to you. We're looking forward to it. We still have, we still have big ambitions with the XC60. XC60, S60, V60 is is part of the turnaround we are going through now in the United States, which I will will refer a little bit to tomorrow when we show you the other product, and uh, and potentially during uh, during some interviews uh, interviews today. So now I would like to invite Joe on stage, who can talk a little bit more in detail about the car and the cars you are going to drive. Uh.